G'day viewers, this is Trof on Troy's Visual Arts channel. Here I've got a very special live demonstration experiment I'm going to de demonstrate to you. This is making a picture of a black and white monitor displaying a colour picture using my black and white Vidicon camera and me red, green, blue filter strip pointed to a colourful picture on the display. How I'm carrying this out is, is um, I'm gonna I have the camera pointed to the picture I'm filming and which will in which the signal will go straight to the black and white monitor and here it is here is the display of the picture um, the lorikeet and um, with my modern CCD camera I am I've got the camera pointed to the TV and am recording off that to computer file which I take each individual video still um, filtered with the reds, greens and blues and I convert each picture to black and white and then combine the three channels and I get a colour picture on I get a picture of a black and white monitor displaying the, the lorikeet in colour. Now as mentioned this is a live demonstration and I'm going to be doing it right now. Anyhow, for starters, um, I've adjusted the monitor so when I put the filters in front of the, the uh, lens, when I'm capturing um, the the uh, there won't be any over blooming on the highlights. There is just one issue, however, I'm experiencing um, getting video noise from this camera, which is coming, which is a bit of a pain. But anyhow time to press on. So let the experiment begin. Now I've got my camera hooked up to a computer capture device, the AMCAP, and I've got the AMCAP capture software right there and I'm ready to capture. Now I'm going to capture to um, call the, let's call the file color, color.avi so, so now the capture begins. Now, so there's my lorikeet. Now I'm going to put the red filter right here in front of the lens. And as seen, um, the red port, the areas on the picture that's got got the red primaries will come up as higher in luminance. Now, I'm going to then um, shift over to the green filter and as seen the greens come up higher in luminance and now I'm just going to shift over to the blue filter and as seen the blues come up higher in luminance whoops filter slipped and the blues yeah come up higher in luminance now so there I've got me three pictures taken move the camera out of the way now this is all, as mentioned, done live, so here I go. So now um, I'll stop me capturing. Now, find the file. Um, file probably down the, somewhere down here. Um, ah, here we are. So there's my captured file. Now, so here I have my um, red filter video st video still. So I go file, save image, and we'll call it repeat red. Whoops. <laughs> so I call it repeat red. Now play on. Now wait till the green's in position, which is about now. And then we save that as 
Laura Kate Brain. And now we have me blue filtered video still. So now we call that Laura Kate Blue. Okay, we now have our three channels. As seen, they're all black and white, but the luminance levels for each of them are different in accordance to each primary color. And that's where, with the three channels, you can bond them together, you get your color picture. Anyhow, we start. Open open these in a photo program which I use Krill Photo Paint. Now I've got in order to combine the channels I've got to convert each picture to black and white. So convert the red channel to grayscale. Now the green we convert that to grayscale. And then the blue we convert to grayscale. Now, this is where the magic begins. So now we combine the three channels. So we've got the red, red to red, green to green, blue to blue, and there you go. A colour picture of a lorikeet displayed on my black and white monitor. How about that? And of course, um, the rest of the area, the area outside the screen is in black and white because you know I converted the picture to black and white so yeah it only responds to the the portions that have been filtered which is on the display so yeah this is so it's one of those cool things you can do with some old video equipment and yeah remember I was using a black and white camera and color filter strip to achieve this and displaying the picture on a black and white monitor anyway um, I've um, actually before this um, have done a couple of other pictures um, before that which I'll show you so there uh, I've got some the color bars displayed on my black and white monitor and I um, also did one of the duck, a photo of, a, of the duck up, up at Sydney Harbour. I've, you can sort of see the colour, but it's a bit faded. I might um, see if I can bring up their levels a bit. Jack up the brightness, down on well, the contrast, down the brightness a bit. Yeah, it looks a bit better now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video demonstration on how to display a colour image on a black and white TV in the form of, of a single video still. But this can also be done for video too if you take four, if you do four videos with each, or three or four videos with each filter. And um, and yeah, and com combine the channels frame by frame. You can do it with video as well. It's something I will try in the future. This experiment can be done with any black and white TV you choose, as long as you can dis as long as you can display a picture. You can do this with any black and white TV, even a black and white TV from the mid mid 1930s can you can achieve the same results, which would be if I ever get my hands on a 30s black and white TV, I'd definitely carry this experiment out and display full blown colour on the black and white TV. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. It was this is one of my of the many fun things I love doing. So yeah, stay tuned for future videos like this. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out.